everyone, welcome back to my channel. Get yourself comfy, get yourself a cup of tea. I've got mine. Today, I am going to be reading assumptions about me. So I put a post out and people were replying and I'm getting the replies and I'm like, eh, hello. Let's go. Also, apologies for the lighting. I'm um trying to sort out my lighting situation but currently we're dealing with like winter weather and artificial light it's just a mess don't come for me okay i'm still i'm still learning so i got my phone and yeah let's go <sighs> the first assumption is that i smoke weed no um that's your answer no i do not um i haven't ever and I don't think I ever will. I love being around my friends when they smoke, it's hilarious. But yeah, personally, not for me. Um, yes, I do still go to Amsterdam. There's other things to do. Um, but yeah, no, I don't smoke. And then the one after that was that I've tried edibles again, no. I think I've got really bad anxiety, so I just don't think, I just don't know how well it would, I mean, some people are like, oh, but it would help your anxiety, like it would calm you down a bit and stuff. I'm just like, well, I've got anxiety to take it. I've never tried it, so I don't really know what I'm missing. Do you know what I mean? That makes sense. That was an easy one. Next. The next one is that I cry easily um, and that I love hugs, and that's true. Um, I cry at basically anything. Happy cry, sad cry, I cry when I'm laughing. But I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, it's just my way of showing emotion. It always just kind of, kind of manifests itself in tears. Yeah, I do I do love hugs. The next one is that I'm easy AF to talk to. I like to think so. I like to think I am. I feel like sometimes I can be, people tell me I'm a bit like standoffish, but that's just dependent on my mood. That was a nice one. Thanks, mate. I thought you were short, not gonna lie. Surprise, shawty! <laughs> I'm five foot ten. Um, a tall queen. I love it. I used to hate it. Literally in the past like two years I've learned to love it, but I used to hate it. I used to always be the tallest at school. Bats for both teams. <sighs> this one's a tricky one for me because I've only ever been with guys and I don't have a type, so I don't think I'd be like against it. Do you know what I mean? Like I know some, some girls and some guys are like, no, never, I'm never going to be with the same sex. Like completely crossed off my list but I wouldn't be against it because we're all just people. I know some people are just with anyone, no judgement on them, but like I have to have an emotional connection to someone. And I don't know if I do have an emotional connection to women because I've never been with one. The next one is you have the worst luck with boys. As a girl that likes them, I don't have the best luck. I mean, I just, there's, there's been, I've been in two relationships, like two proper relationships. Um, they all lasted under a year, I think. And then between them I've been in like, I've dated a couple people. Like by dated I mean like I've gone on dates with a couple people. I'm attracted to a lot of people, but I don't go for it with a lot of people. And I just, and then when I do, I properly like let my guard down immediately. And then it's a mess. And then it, all, it always ends. Whoever's fault it may be, like, it is sometimes me as well, sometimes I'm like, okay, now I'm bored of this now, and I'll end it. Which is perfectly fine, guys, by the way. If you feel as though that person or that situation isn't the right thing for you, then you are allowed to leave. <laughs> like, I think it's always a, th a fear of, like, hurting the other person's feelings. I just pick the wrong ones, I think. And, um, I've recently learnt that... I love being single as well, like I love it. Especially at this moment in time, like I'm 19 years old, I feel like everyone is so relationship orientated and I'm just not, that's not my vibe. So I did used to have the worst luck with boys, but now I don't even give it a shot. <laughs> Someone said Defo got a couple sugar daddies. I think that's a compliment, you know, cause that, looks, that means I look like I have money. I don't have any sugar daddies. Thank you for the compliment though. I also do not have much money. So if anyone would like to fund me, my PayPal's in the description. 
Someone said, I thought you were kind. Thanks. That's actually a really nice thing to say. I think I was always, growing up, I was always worried that like, I mean, I know that people were scared of me. Sorry guys, you know who you are. <laughs> that makes me sound like a bully. No, like they're my friends now. But yeah, I think I always had this like protective wall up that never let anyone in. I was such a rude little girl. Um, so yeah, that makes me really happy. Can you shut up? Do you think I'm kind? People saying negative things don't affect you. A hundred percent. I used to like dwell on everything that anyone said about me or to me or anything. But now, and I and that was the thing. I used to act like I didn't care, but I really did. Um, but now I can safely say I do not, because what other people think of you. Um, and how they perceive you doesn't really matter in the long run because they're not going to be around you all the time and they've taken the time out of their day to say something negative about you like get a life you don't want kids i do want kids i'd love to have kids i think um i'd love to have kids when i am ready which i think is really important as well for women to remember that you don't have to have kids obviously I mean I know our eggs start dying by like 30 35 but I feel like there's also this whole stigma to do it ASAP and to be settled down by the time you're like 25 you don't have to I'm very especially now I've become very career orientated I never used to be um but yeah I've got like this ambition that I never had before and I do want kids, but just when I feel ready. I thought you were religious. No, I'm... I feel like the conversation of religion is a really tricky one because I completely understand religion and understand why people are religious. I've never really found a reason or a need to kind of find God, for example, or follow a certain teaching. Um, there is parts of every religion that I completely understand and that are just such beautiful teachings, but personally, yeah, I've never really explored it. I'm a very spiritual person. Um, so could you say that's a religion? I don't really know. I don't think it's a religion, but I'm very spiritual. Um, I love to connect with like the non-physical world and everything like that. I find that all really interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm not religious. But yeah, that is all our assumptions my tea is finished i hope you enjoyed this more kind of chatty video um i'm happy to be uploading again i hope you enjoyed last week's video i'm in my new setup now and i'm loving it yeah if you haven't seen it already go check it out i think it's there 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 link in the description um but yeah thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe press the post notifications so you know every time I'm uploading a video and I will see you next week Bye.